guys, it's Shandera. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So in today's video, we will be trying the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 Facial Sunscreen. 1.7 ounces of this sunscreen will run you anywhere between $29 up to $40. With that being said, we are gonna see what this product is working with, and let's go ahead and swatch this product. Here is the product. I'm doing one pump, then we're going to swatch it. That is what the product looks like. Let me turn the light down. What do you guys think? It's giving me real purple teas, real purple vibes. <laughs> so it's unscented but it has that hint of sunscreen scent you know that real like chemical metallic scent it has a faint hint of that but it's not loud it's giving me really like cheap aloe vera store <laughs> gel teas um you know this is an expensive sunscreen so i had to scrape half of it off my hand to apply to my face because I want to use some more pumps and I don't want y'all judging me. So I'm gonna put uh, another pump there and then one one more pump here. You have enough sunscreen to go all the way down the neck to get the full protection and coverage. And like I mentioned to all of y'all, uh, this is why my sunscreen works and yours doesn't. It's because I use the proper amount and I also want to say this. There is no proper amount they tell you to use. They don't tell you, oh, please use uh, six pumps, seven pumps. They say apply liberally. And for me, liberally is like three to four pumps, okay? So <laughs> this is what this sunscreen's looking like, giving me real purple teas. Oh, help us all. <laughs> sunscreen into my face um i'm not looking white cast i'm gonna go ahead and turn the light down to see what we're working with oh <gasps> you guys no white cast what do you guys think on um, my lips that's the sunscreen <laughs> so they looking a little ashy that's the sunscreen but look at the rest of my face what do you guys think here's my cheek here is my forehead Here's my other cheek, and here is my chin. Uh, other than my lips with the white cast, my face, it doesn't have a white cast at all. I am, I'm shook, honey. Um, I am going to go ahead and wait 20 minutes, cause you know, well, 15 minutes to be technical, to let all of the sunscreen settle down, to see, because sometimes sunscreen gets off a very white cast, but if you wait 15 minutes, then you know it all disappears. So that is what we are going to do, to see if, you know, it leaves my lips. Oh. <laughs> so it's been 20 minutes and the lights are completely down. And this is what the sunscreen looks like. Here is my uh, left side of my face. <laughs> Here is my right. Here is my chin. And here is my forehead. What do you guys think? This is like completely with the light down. What do you guys think? Let me get the mirror. Um, We have a lot to discuss. So let's talk about it. I've been using this sunscreen for about a year now. This is actually my second bottle. And I honestly enjoy this sunscreen. It's actually one of my favorite sunscreens next to my skinnies. It's very lightweight. The sunscreen filters are not overwhelming, meaning they don't have a metallic taste in my mouth. I also like the fact that this sunscreen really sinks in nicely. If you have very dry skin, it gives your skin that sort of glow look. How However, since I am combo, there were days last year when I was really oily and I didn't have a problem with this making me look too shiny. It sort of gave me a matte look when I had very oily days. It's not heavy at all, so you won't be sweating with this sunscreen. When it sinks into your skin, it like sticks to your skin and it just really creates this amazing protective barrier for the rest of your skincare products. That's how, how I feel because it's so 
lightweight on the skin. It hasn't made me sweat. I've never got a sticky feeling. It's never made my face feel slimy or greasy. When I was wearing a mask, I never had like that icky feeling you get on your mask from sunscreen. I never got that feeling. Now I did notice that for this sunscreen, you need less skincare. So let's say you do 10 steps, maybe eight steps. With this sunscreen, I think about three to four steps is enough. I noticed that it works well without moisturizers for me um, because there's a lot of pilling. And also I noticed pilling depending on how I rub it in. So if you're rubbing it in a lot, it's creating friction on the skin and this sunscreen will peel on you and you'll see like the white residue. However, that can be combated by layering it. So you know how I did three, four pumps all over my face. You may want to start off with a half a pump um, apply it to your face and then keep going until you see peeling. It takes a while to literally see it peeling. I do have videos on my channel where I've used a beauty blender and a brush, a foundation brush to apply sunscreen. I think this would work well with this sunscreen because this sunscreen is a very lightweight sunscreen. It almost mimics a lotion but it does give you that peeling so you may want to be careful. You cannot rub your skin vigorously with this sunscreen. Um, if you even notice a white cast, you may want to start patting. You may start getting scared and want to rub it, but you have to be very gentle or this is going to pill on you. And this sunscreen is expensive in my opinion so it's not one of those sunscreen that you could just throw away <laughs> once you start seeing peeling so be, please be very gentle with this i did experience just a little bit of burning with this product and that's because niacinamide is the third ingredient on the list some people may consider it the second ingredient on the list if we're not including water but water is first so i did experience a little burning because of the niacinamide and if you a person who is real sensitive to niacinamide in your products then this product does have niacinamide i don't know I, what is with this niacinamide craze like i mean I, look <laughs> they probably started it first so i'm not talking about them but i'm just in general people are really loving niacinamide i don't under, look look i just don't get it anyways <laughs> with that being said, I do feel if you're a person with very dry skin, you may need a moisturizer with this sunscreen because it's just very, very lightweight. However, if you're a person with oily skin, you probably won't even need a moisturizer with this sunscreen. You could get away with just doing your cleansing, your toner, your serums, unless you have a very lightweight moisturizer and then apply this sunscreen. But in my personal opinion, you really don't need a moisturizer moisturizer if you have a really great serum and toner regimen it would just be pointless using a moisturizer with this sunscreen because it will cause flaking and peeling and this is a very expensive sunscreen if you live in a humid climate i think you would really enjoy this sunscreen but however if you have dry skin you live in a dry climate <laughs> this sunscreen will definitely be very drying to you you may need a light mist because this will definitely flake and pillowing you. I will say this, it is an expensive sunscreen. That's why I've only bought it twice <laughs> because it's very pricey. But I will say this, it's a wonderful investment if you're looking for an upgrade in your skincare or something a little more high end versus the drugstore ones. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not naming Y'all know what I'm talking about. With that being said, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.